Yes, Deliverance was the movie that made banjo music famous or infamous, probably, depending on your point of view. I suppose it's as American as apple pie and Uncle Sam, which is why we were so surprised and proud to find America's banjo queen as a Kiwi. In fact, she has been crowned queen of the banjo in the US. She's in the Country Music Hall of Fame alongside Dolly Parton and Johnny Cash. Beat that. And she's from Christchurch. Natasha Utting with Jenny Blackadder. Jim Reeves and Johnny Cash. Dolly Parton. Kenny Rogers. All of those well-known uh, artists are all in there. Jenny Blackadder became the first New Zealand instrumentalist to join them when she was inducted into the National American Old Time Country Hall of Fame. So it's, it's a bit of a thrill to think that you're um, in there with all the greats. A well-deserved thrill. The Americans adore her. In America, they, they, the people just they stand up as soon as you play. They just love, they love being entertained. Um, they're very appreciative. Jenny's won more awards than she can remember. My music's been my life um, from a very young age. The banjo has a real story really. The, the four string banjo actually came from Africa and then when it went to America the Americans put the fifth string on to, to turn it into the bluegrass banjo. Her career began many years ago here in New Zealand's Nashville Gore. The first highlight of my life in the music world was when I won the gold guitar in New Zealand. Everyone just stood up in the hall, everyone went crazy. And here's Jenny Bracketer. She went on to become a familiar face on our TV screens. Jenny and on stage touring with friends like Patsy Rigger and Suzanne Prentice. In fact, since she picked up the banjo at 25, her career has only accelerated. And this photo here is, was taken in Nashville. I was very fortunate to meet and actually play guitar with the managing director of Warner Brothers Records. But Jenny isn't just a great banjo player, she's at the top of banjo royalty. The Queen of the Banjo I got in 2008 for my uh, part in keeping America's hi historic music alive of Eddie Peabody. Who was Eddie Peabody? Everybody, he was the king, the king of the banjo of America. Does that mean you are the best female banjo player they, in America? That they've named me the Queen because he's no longer around and I play his music. And every Queen deserves the crown. Queen Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen's favourite throne was in the famous Gibson Music Store in Nashville. It was a $64,000 gold-plated banjo and I sat on the famous Gibson stall and I just played some Dixieland and they were all crowded around and the manager came through and said, "Come with, how would you like to come with me? And he showed me through the wall there, uh, this beautiful big theatre, stage set up with seven microphones and said, Next time you arrive, we're going to get you onto the stage. Jenny may be famous for her country, but she also plays Dixieland and gospel. You can actually play any type of music on a banjo, except pop, of course. No yes, pop I've diva. I've got lots of hats, but the, I kind of like the pink one. But she still needs a wardrobe full of spectacular, sparkly costumes. This one's really heavy. Gosh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's tremendously heavy. And you've got to wear the heavy banjo as well. Yes, the banjo is about 12, 13 kgs. Wow. And um, this is, I reckon this is about five, so it's, it's yeah. a bit of a workout. Yeah. Last week she was honoured here with a Queen's Service Medal for Music. And on Tuesday our crowned and decorated Queen is off to Branson, Tennessee to play no less than 76 shows. Branson's the new Nashville really. Names like Willie Nelson and Mickey Gilly and, and, and I guess the Dixie Chicks and Garth Brooks, they all go there from time to time. Jenny will be performing three shows a day at the massive music festival called World Fest. And I'm there to represent New Zealand uh, this year, uh, the first New Zealander to do this. So I'm very, very excited. And with her beloved banjo making a fashionable country comeback, she's far too busy for retirement. Mm -hmm.